It's Mr. O'Mara here, and I want to talk to you about how we go about choosing a brilliant domain name. We need one of these for our school site. A domain name is Money in the Bank, and we want to have a Ripper one because you're going to have it for the six years that you're going to be at Western Heights. Here's rule number one. You want to evoke a strong visual. People remember what they can see. People remember this, it's world famous. They remember him, it's world famous. And this is also world famous. Make sure that your name connects to something which is a strong visual and people will remember it. Rule number two, don't have ambiguous spelling or have unambiguous spelling. If people can get it wrong, they will get it wrong and they'll end up not going to your site, they'll go to somebody else's site. For instance, Red Space Rocket, the name of my site, should be a really unambiguous name, but I think it's spelt red space rocket. Some people when they hear it think it's red space rocket. It is ambiguous, so it is not an ideal domain name. So we throw out that option. You might think putting the word soar is good. It's got a good visual of an eagle soaring. However, soar can be spelt like this, it can be spelt like this, and it can be spelt like this. Soar is not a good name to put in a domain name, a good word to put in a domain name because it is ambiguous. Finally, a word like legend, this is how it's spelt. If you can spell correctly, you know how this is spelt. However, many people, particularly young people, misspell it like that. So it is ambiguous. You would not use it in your name. Great word, but unfortunately people get stuck on it because they hear the dirt that we say. We do say legend. And that tricks people. So sometimes, perfectly normal word, if it's hard to spell, leave it out. So rule number two, unambiguous spelling. Rule number three, keep the name short. If the name is long, it gives people a chance to type it in wrong to get it wrong. And it is also quicker to put in a, a, a short name. I love this guy, Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones, fantastic character. So rule number three, keep it short like Tyrion. Rule number four, nothing offensive. The internet has a long memory. We're not going to have an offensive domain name because we're a school and we don't we just wouldn't do it, but you shouldn't either. Because something that you think is hilariously funny when you're 12, 13, 14, even 20 will come back and haunt you. Don't make it your brand that nobody wants to have anything to do with. Make sure your brand is something you can carry through your life. Don't pick offensive domain names because we won't be. Don't bother suggesting one. Nothing offensive. Rule number five. Don't include brand names. For us, we're not going to include any of these brand names because we're not associated with these companies. For you, you're probably not associated with these companies either. So don't put a brand name within your domain name. So no brand names. Number six, ends in .com. .com names are iconic. Everything else is an also ran. Don't tell me, oh, but we can get a .us .baseball on blah, blah, blah. Dot-com names are the gold standard. Yes, you can get those other things, but you always go for a dot-com when you can. Rule number seven, it must be available. This is the golden rule. You know what? There's a lot of websites out there and they've had domain names for a lot of years. Most of the best spots are taken. You've got to look and look and look. Network Solutions is a good place to look. Or just check domain name, type it into Google because most of what you think of will already be taken by somebody else. This is a difficult task. You must find a domain name that is available. It is no sense finding something that somebody else already has. So it must be available. Let's look at our seven rules. It must have a strong image. It must be unambiguous. People cannot get it wrong or it's very hard for them to get it wrong. It's a short name. It's not offensive. It's not a brand name. It ends in a .com and it's got to be available. So there's your seven rules. Go find some domain names, leave them as a comment here on the blog, and we'll pick the, the winner this week.